Hi, I'm Robin with AppleiPhoneApps.com. Remember the game Pictionary? Well, now you can play it on your iPhone with Quick Draw. Sure, it's not as fun and you won't find yourself screaming out the answers, but it is damn entertaining at first. So let's take a look. Quick Draw is an application based off of the game Pictionary, or at least I think so. Basically, you draw pictures and you have your friends guess it over the internet. And for Quick Draw, you definitely need an inter inter internet connection. So either 3G, Edge, or Wi Fi will work. And if you are an iPod Touch user, make sure to have your Wi Fi on. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I've already created a username, which you need to do once you sign up for this game. Okay, down here it gives you all the different rooms that you can go into, animals, characters, food and drink, and over here on the right hand side it shows you how many people are in each room. So make sure to select a room that someone's actually in to play against them. Alright, so I'm going to select animals. Now as you can see Tom Jones is already in the room and right now it's waiting for the next round to begin. So. If you enter a room with more people, it's actually going to take a little bit longer for you to jump in because the, the round that they were playing has to end first. Okay, so now it's my turn. I'm going to actually turn the screen so I can draw. As you can see down here, it tells me what I'm supposed to be drawing, a dog. So, let's see. Let's see if they can actually guess that. Now, it's kind of hard to draw on this. As you can see, I'm not really that terrible of a drawer. Oh my god! And somebody actually guessed what I was drawing, so that means it wasn't so bad. I'm going to return the screen this way. So I got two points for that as well as Tom Jones because he guessed correctly. And then up here at the top, it actually shows what the last thing you were drawing was. Okay? So now it's going to be Tom Jones' turn and I get the chance to guess at what he's drawing. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, that looks like an, an octopus, maybe, not an octopus, a squid. Okay, no, that was wrong, so I get that little X right there. Um, what else could this be? Jellyfish. And I got it right. Perfect. Okay, so now I got points for that as well as Tom Jones for, for drawing it correctly. And that's basically it. So we go back and forth, we draw, and we guess. And that's how the game works. All right, so let's exit here. Let me show you a couple other things. Now, at the top of the main screen, you can also choose to play offline. And by doing that, you don't actually play against anyone and you're not really timed. So it's kind of just for practice. And then you can also just go here and log out and return to the main screen. All right, and that's basically all there is for Quick Draw. You can also go here for high scores and see other people who have played on the internet, their high scores. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So you can see Quick Draw can be fun and definitely has some entertaining qualities. My favorite part was being able to call out cheaters by blowing on the whistle. But let's be honest, there's definitely a lot of room for improvement here. First of all, there are no difficulty levels, so you find yourself drawing really easy words like hand, umbrella, and gun. The scoring system doesn't really make any sense, and just when you think you're doing well, the round will randomly end to allow for new users to play. Within the same round, words get repeated multiple times. When it's my turn to draw, it'd be nice to see a list of what everyone's guessing to make it more like Pictionary. But the biggest complaint is that there are just not enough users. But since the developers changed the price from $3.99 to $1.99, getting more players might be possible. For more application information, please check out our website at applelivemonapps.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. I'm Robin, and I'll sync with you next time.